I set it all up, but I don't know how to get back here. Oh. 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 Okay. <clears throat> Welcome back, you little idiots. It's me, Joe Riety. <laughs> Here we are testing another product, and I'm really excited about this one because it's <laughs> the first product ever sent to me by a company. They said, hey, test our product for free. Try it out. Give us an honest review. I really commend you for that fine fine. Yes, uh, you're not seeing that wrong. This is spelled fine fine. Wait, where is it at? It's spelled fine fine, but they pronounce it fine fine. Bear with me. I asked about the pronunciation and they even sent me a message before I asked about the pronunciation. It is fine, fine. They spelled it out and everything. I said, are you sure it's fine, fine and not fine, fine? And they said, yes, it's fine, fine. So you know what? That's fine, fine. <laughs> I'm kind of a genius. The Gaming H3 headset, it comes with its own detachable microphone and I'm pretty excited to test this little bad boy out. 38 bucks. So are we gonna be getting a budget gaming headset for a really good price and really good quality? You be the judge. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna be the judge because it's my video. You're just gonna watch it. I mean, you can judge it if you want to, but I'm not gonna hear about it unless you put it in the comments. That's a unique way of telling you to put it in the comments. You know what I'm talking about? Now, this thing claims here on the side that it is also for the Nintendo Switch game console, game, game console controller. So I'm assuming Xbox or PS5. Mobile player. I'm assuming maybe tablet or phone and PC or Mac. So this thing is compatible with just about everything. Over here on the other side, we've got detachable microphone, adjustable headband, breathtaking RGB illumination. <laughs> they went for the big words, all right? I can appreciate that because I'm a man of culture. I'm a man of glass. And splitter cable accessory. So if you need to split this up into two different inputs, you might be able to do that. This is the first time I've opened this. A lot of channels will say, oh yeah, well, let's open it for real for the first time, but all the plastic's been taken off, so you know they're lying. I am opening this for the first time with you little babies out there. Oh, there's no plastic on it, so <laughs> just believe me, okay? What do we got here? Some kind of spacer? Oh, no, there's something in here. Ah, there's our microphone. And here's the splitter. It looks like it will be audio on one and microphone on the other. If you've got to split it, you can do that. You know what I'm talking about? That's kind of cool. I like. Does it have an indicator? Yes, it does. Left side or right side? Strong side! Whoa, I gotta tell you. It's a lot more noise canceling, or maybe not noise canceling, but just like noise stopping. I made that word up. I'm not sure if I need to plug this in and this in, or just this in, or just this in, or this plus this, or this plus this. But of course, that's why we have directions. First, it says to install the microphone. Uh -huh. <laughs> now we're getting in the vibe. It is adjustable, so that's nice. The USB side is strictly for the lights on the sides of this headset. That's all it's gonna do. You're gonna plug it in, you're gonna see some pretty lights turning on. So I think, looking at the instructions, we got a pretty good idea of what we're gonna do with these bad boys. So let's start doing it. Okay, so we're at the moment of truth here. We're gonna plug the USB in and see what the lights do as soon as you plug them in. Let's take a look. You know what I realized? I can't tell if they turned on because I'm wearing them. But do I look pretty? <laughs> oh. That's cute, smiley face. I like him, and he's cute. And it has pretty lights. Cute. Now I wonder if you can change the lights or if they stay the same the entire time. We've got the thing hooked up. 
We've got the lights on. <laughs> it took a little finagling. I had to put the three millimeter jack without the splitter into one place, but then hook up the USB to another place. The cord wasn't quite long enough for that, so I had to use a USB extension to the USB coming from this headset to the input on another place on my computer. But I'm gonna tell you what, listening to this microphone right now, it's picking up a lot of noise. Woo. The mic itself doesn't sound that bad, but for whatever reason, it's really picking up a lot of extra staticky noise. Let's see if we can make the mic sound just a little bit better with a little tweaking here in Voice Meter Banana. That's not sounding terrible, at least from the headsets that I'm using here. Test one, two, test. Let's see if the mute button works. What was that? I muted it? Did you hear that? Oh my, that's a nightmare. Ugh. Now they asked me not to show any other microphones in this video, or I could use a microphone off camera so that you can hear me better without all of the static. Hopefully they'll let me get away with this. I have a microphone off screen that I'm going to be using because this microphone just doesn't sound good. Now, as far as your voice into the microphone, it's not bad, but all the static that comes with it was absolutely atrocious and blowing my ears out. Get another microphone. But in order to test the music, <laughs> well, you know what we've got to do. We've got to go to the classics and get a doom song going on and let's crank it up in the headset and we're going to see what this sound can really do in the H3 fine, fine headset. Cultist Bass BFG Division. <laughs> Okay, okay. The music is sounding pretty good. There's a lot of bass, but I kind of like bass in there. If we can turn up the highs just a little bit, I think we'll be in really good shape. <laughs> I gotta say, fine, fine. Not bad, not bad. Let's try it on an actual game. So we're pulling it up with Baldur's Gate 3. The intro does that nice, um, Vocal, uh, you know, I'm talking about uh, uh, here it comes. <laughs> I wrote that. Okay, so let's talk score on this Fi Fine H3 gaming headset. So let's get the dirty, the nasty, the ugly out of the way, the microphone. The microphone is definitely something that you're not going to be able to use if you want it to sound really good. In a pinch, it works, but whenever I use it, no work. There is so much static that comes out of this thing when you're trying to talk and even the highest level of gate that I put on the microphone was still allowing some of that static to come through every time I spoke or made noise in the room anywhere. The other negative, I gotta tell you, it's just getting a little hot on my ears. I feel my head starting to sweat in the cushions of these things. Now, is it very comfortable? Yes, it's actually extremely comfortable. It's not noise canceling, it's like noise deafening. It blocks out a lot of sound, which is very impressive for a cheaper microphone like this. $38. That's not too bad. The lights are cool though, but there's no customization to the lights. They turn on. I like the little symbol. I have never heard of Fifine before they sent me this and I'm a fan. Now let's get into the positives. 
it's pretty sleek. It's a nice design. The top is very comfortable. It's a comfortable headset. The lights, you know, they don't do anything you want them to do other than just kind of make colors. But if that's your thing, they're cool. But the sound quality in this headset, from what I expected to what I heard, is exponentially better than what I expected. When I heard the microphone, I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> we're in trouble but when i heard the sound especially playing something like what i like some metal coming from the doom soundtrack it actually sounded pretty good i just cranked up the high end just a little bit to give some sharper crisper sounds coming from this the headset audio is great for the 40 dollars you're getting a little above in quality for the price. It's roughly $38, and I'm gonna put a link to these in the description to their Amazon shopping center. Be aware also, I'm not getting any commission from this. They just sent me the headset and said, hey, try it out for us. Give us an honest review. Thanks for playing. Let's put a number on this thing. I'm gonna give it a six. Point five. <laughs> I was debating there. And the reason why I give it a 6.5 is the audio sounds great for $38. They're pretty good quality. If you're on stream with these things, people are going to notice them. They're going to be like, hey, what's that cute little smiley face guy? It actually might bump it up for the price to a 7. So I'm going to say a 7 out of 10. But I would 100% get an external mic. Don't do it. Don't do this microphone here, okay? So thanks for watching, you little idiots out there. It's me, Joe Riety. I do some unboxings and reviews. It's been a little slow lately because I'm working on a video game tournament that I'm hosting in Waco, Texas, and I'm really excited. If you enjoyed the video, make sure and lick that like button. Link will be in the description to see where you can get this on Amazon. Hey, five, fine, fine. I'm fine, fine with helping you out. And I'll catch you next time. Later, Gator Daters.